It's not a controversy with me. Here, here's the thing. You do sign a non-disclosure agreement when you're part of the SEAL team saying that you won't give up something called tactics, techniques, and procedures. So as long as this man is not giving up any of those three things, which would be considered classified, then I question the security um, for him and his family of him doing it. But the controversy, that's all on him. When, these hist when the history books are written, I'd rather read and have um, it come from somebody who actually made the history instead of some armchair quarterback sitting back giving us their take on it. So I don't see why there's any more controversy with this than any major event in the world. Osama bin Laden was the most wanted man in the world for 10 years. And this man who took him out, although we need to remember it's all part of a team effort, he could not have taken Osama bin Laden out by himself without the rest of the team. This was all luck of the draw, where you find in the stack, where you fall in the stack, we call it. But since this man did make the killing shot, if he wants to tell the world he did it while I question why he would do it, I'm assuming that there's some message that he wants to get out there. And I know for one, I'm going to see what that reason is. The person that started SEAL Team 6 uh, wrote a book over 20 years ago talking about forming the team. So the fact that now somebody would say, hey, you can't talk about it, especially with the instant access to media that we have now, is ridiculous. This um, Rear Admiral Losey that wrote the letter saying it's supposed to be quiet, et cetera, et cetera, I guarantee you he didn't send a letter to the Vice President of the United States who told the world SEAL Team 6 did this. So now that the whole world knows that SEAL Team 6 does it, has done this, this op, I don't see the big deal about the guys who actually did it saying that they did it.